Hey everyone, I'm Samir, working for APM Product NFI. Welcome to the configuration demo on Compliance Retrieval Service, uh, which is Microsoft NAC 2.0. In this video, we are going to talk about how to create profiles on Microsoft Intune. So basically, device configuration profiles such as PKCS, SCEP, certificate profiles along with the VPN profile configuration. So as we all know, uh, so Microsoft recently launched NAC 2.0 service. So this uses lookups by Intune device ID, which removes the dependency on internal identifiers such as serial numbers, MAC address. This compliance retrieval service uses certificate-based authentication setup. For that, we must use certificate-based authentication setup for NAC-enabled network. So, so to provision user or device with a type of certificate, Intune uses certificate profile. So for this, we also need uh, to include the Intune device ID in the subject alternative name field of a certificate profile. So we have to add a URI attribute by NAC provider. So in the requirement section, if you see, uh, these are the things which we must require to create certificate authentication setup. Uh, first thing is on-premises infrastructure, certificate authority to issue root certificate and also the client certificates. So regarding the certificate connector and also the certificate VPN profile, certificate and VPN profiles, uh, we are going to talk about later in a later part of this video. So if you look at this diagram, the user enroll the mobile device on Intune and IT will configure the certificate profiles and VPN configuration profiles on the Microsoft Intune. So for that, we need certificate authority setup. Uh, which is an on-premise infrastructure service. So it is like an active directory domain uh, enabled with the certificate services. So we need a root certificate and also client certificate. So this Intune is going to communicate with the certificate authority setup through Intune certificate connector. So the certificate connector is a software uh, we install on on-premise server to help and deliver managed certificates for Intune managed devices. So we are going to take a look on, uh, take a look at these profiles on Microsoft Intune, how to configure these things and also how to uh, configure the Microsoft certificate connector. So what are the device configuration profiles that we are going to go into configure on Microsoft Intune? So which is, first thing we need trusted certificate profile, PKCS or SEP certificate profile and also the VPN configuration profile. So where actually we will mention the FI VPN server. So for more information, uh, refer to the Microsoft documentation link to configure, uh, so how to create an infrastructure setup and all. So let's go to the Microsoft Azure. So in Microsoft Azure, uh, when we create an app, so we have to provide the right API permissions for this. So we have to configure the Microsoft graph. And this is a recommended one. Applications that read that all should set to, it should be configured to S. So this is the way we have to set the permissions on Microsoft Azure. So let's go to Intune, which is Endpoint Manager Admin Center. So the user will enroll device in Microsoft Intune. So we can see the compliance status of this. So how to configure uh, the certificate connector, how to install. So for that, we need to go to tenant administration. Click on connectors and certificates and go to certificate connectors. So here actually uh, we have to add the certificate connector and need to install an on-premises server, which is a certificate authority server. So it shows active. So that means the certificate connector is properly installed and able to communicate with the uh, Microsoft Intune. So this is how we have to configure. And next we'll look at the device configuration profiles. So what we have to exactly we need to configure. So I'm going to take an example uh, for Android device. 
as I said, uh, so th there are three profiles we must configure on the Microsoft Indian. So first thing is Android trusted certificate profile and, and PKCS or SEP, either one is required. Here I'm showing the example for both profiles and then VPN profile. So the three profiles are mandatory. So either we can configure uh, the PKCS certificate profile or SEP certificate profile. So let's look at the Android Trust. So Android Trust profile, if you, if you see, so we just have to upload the root certificate here. We can see the, this certificate profile, the root certificate is attached here. And we'll next look at the PKCS or SEP certificate profile. So this is the way we have to configure uh, in the device ID. Let's go back to SAP certificate profiles. In SAP certificate profile, so the, uh, I have chosen custom custom device ID. So we can configure the default Intune device ID as shown in the PKCS profile, or else we can configure the custom device ID. Uh, so we can use any string with the even special characters. So, but we have to take care on the big IP side as well. If we configure the custom device ID that we are going to talk about in the uh, next video. So this is how we have to configure the SAP certificate profile. So we have to fill the subject name format and also the certificate type, whether it is a device or user. And uh, so, so we have to mention uh, the SD SAP server certificate URLs. So the on-premises, server infrastructure is different for SEP certificate uh, from PKCS. So for that, uh, please refer Microsoft certificate authentication uh, document. Now let's look at the Android VPN profile. So VPN profile, so we have to choose either PKCS or SEP certificate profile. And also we have to configure the VPN server address name. The authentication must be certificate. So we must select authentication method to certificates and select client authentication certificate. So we can choose either PKCS or SAP certificate profile and just click submit. So this is the way we have to configure the profile. Make sure these device configuration profiles are successfully pushed to the enrolled mobile device. For that, we can see uh, open the device and see the device configuration profile. Yep, we can see. And also, in the hardware part, there is an Intune device ID. So this Intune device ID will be pushed to the devices in the URI attribute of the certificate. Thank you. That's it from the Microsoft Azure point of view regarding migrating to a NAC 2.0. Thank you.